<clears throat> okay, now just close your eyes, <coughs> push your bottom into the back of the chair. <coughs> Just become aware of your body. Become aware of your buttocks on the chair and your feet on the floor and the weight of your body going downwards. Now become aware of your spine and your spine reaching up into space and become aware of the height of your body. So now aware of the weightiness going down and the height going up and just settling into this. And then thinking Contemplating the meaning of the prayers we've just recited. And then bringing to mind The idea of a smile and think, smile, think inegri as they say in Mongolia. And feel the difference this makes to you mental disposition and how your body feels. Now, <clears throat> putting your hands out in front, palms facing downwards in front of your body. And becoming aware of the breath. And now taking a long, slow, deep breath, and as you do so, curl up your, your fingers and tighten up your arms and your shoulders, pull your shoulders up to your head and tighten up all the muscles in your face. And then hold. And then relax and release the muscles and as you breathe out. All the way down to the tips of your fingers and open your fingers out and spread them. Now placing your hands back down into a position that you feel is comfortable. And just resting with this. Resting in how your <coughs> body feels now from the shoulders up to the tip of the head, down to the tips of the face. becoming aware of the changes that have taken place. Now once again taking a long, slow, deep breath in. And then holding and then tightening the muscles at your stomach, pushing them out the way. In your chest and feel this. And then once again, relax and release on the out-breath. Mm. 
then becoming aware of the difference this has made to your torso. Just pausing and reflecting on how you feel now. Now lifting your heels off the ground if you're in the chair and balancing your feet on the balls of your feet and toes. Now as you breathe in, tightening the muscles in your feet, in your calves, your thighs, all the way up to your pelvic bone, tightening everything as you breathe in, then holding this tension holding the breath, and then once again relaxing and releasing. And feel the physical tension leaving. And now just pausing and reflecting on how your body feels now. Now thinking about how was that for me and how am I feeling right now? Now opening your eyes and getting used to the space in the room and those around you and Oh, would anyone like to share how that feels? <coughs> Pardon? Feels lively. lively. You feel lively now. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. More awake. More awake. Mm -hmm. Quite soft. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Do you feel more present? Okay. That's quite important. Because um, I know, and studies show, <coughs> that you're going to miss at least 50% of what I say. And that's because your mind flickers in and out of attention. And it flickers in and out of listening. And I don't know whether you've noticed, but when you sit and do your meditation, it flickers in and out. Sometimes you're attentive, and sometimes your mind wanders. So there's no difference in uh, the process. There is a name for it, shall I tell you what, what it is? Huh? It's called Communications skills deficit. 
I call it passive listening. <laughs> yeah. you know. I spend quite a bit of time with people who kind of come up with those ideas, you know, a communication skills deficit. <laughs> yes, I definitely have that problem. <coughs> Oh, you mean I don't listen sometimes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see. But it's the awareness of it, okay? That's the really important thing. And um, sometimes it's due to, to like inattention. Sometimes it's due to Distraction. So sometimes it's due to us thinking up some clever response to, to what, what we've had, you know. So there's a way of improving the amount of information that you can retain. <coughs> it's, it's uh, we call like practicing the, a form of self-awareness that's called active listening. Now, if you're a therapist, you have to know about this. You have to know how to do it. Because if you don't hear or mishear what um, uh, your client is saying, um, you know, you could end up in serious trouble. They could end up doing totally something which, uh, based on your mishearing, you know. <coughs> so, the way to do this is, first of all, you have a, a, what they call like an open posture. Um, that means no arm crossing, no leg crossing, you know, no slumping in the chair, you know. So sitting with an open posture. So take your bottom and push it into the back of the chair and let your, uh, <coughs> start to feel your body being supported by your spine. And then you clear your mind. <clears throat> There's a way of doing this really quickly. Do, do you want to learn how to do it? Okay. So I want you to take a long, slow, deep breath in. And then hold your breath just for a second. And a long, slow, deep breath out. Did it work? Yeah, that's called the practice of one breath. Okay? This is a very gentle way of interrupting the habits, the habitual thinking that goes on. And so you rest within this, within the result of this. And then you develop the conscious, conscious intention to listen. And this means like to develop an interest in curiosity. That's why you're here. You know? But some people have to go to things they don't really want to be going to and they have a completely... their attitude is not so good. And then develop a, a neutral stance, a non-judgmental stance. And develop a patience, you know? What does that mean? That means be quietly attentive and allow the information 
to come to you. And to rest in the pauses and short periods of space which occur when uh, someone is um, speaking to you. It doesn't matter whether there's 5,000 people or five or one. <coughs> They're still speaking to you as an, indivi as an individual. You're there. <coughs> and so let's go the, through the process again. So just change your posture consciously. Consciously move and sit straight but comfortably and place the palms where comfortable. Could be like this, could be like that. You know, could be like this. And become aware of the pressure points where your bottom is touching the, the seat or the floor. Which parts of your body are pressing against the floor, your feet, your buttocks, feeling the thighs on the chair or on the ground, and just become aware of this. And then just become aware of your breath and your breathing. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Hold. And then take a long, slow, deep breath out. And let's and just focus on the sound of my voice now. And enter the learning zone. I want to explain, as you rest in this sort of meditative equipoise, a little about mindfulness and just allow these words to kind of mm, be like uh, just uh, waves entering into your ears. And so where did mindfulness come from? Mindfulness was developed in ancient times. Before the Buddha even. And now the practice of mindfulness can be found in Eastern and Western cultures. And you have to remember that the Buddha wasn't a Buddhist. He was a Brahmin. And it was only later that the word Buddhist came about. In, in fact, it was coined in the West. So mindfulness comes from the Sanskrit world called sati, and it's translated as mindfulness. And mindfulness has three aspects, awareness, attention, and remembering. Now this is the definition from early Eastern 